Listen, Jerry, I, I don't want to overstep my bounds or anything. It's your house, it's your world, you're a real Julius Caesar. But I'll tell you something, tell you how, how I feel about school, Jerry. It's a waste of time. A bunch of people running around, bumping into each other. Got guy up front says two plus two, the people in the back say four. Then the, then the bell rings, they give you a carton of milk and a piece of paper that says you can go take a dump or something. I mean, it's, it's not a place for smart people, Jerry. I know that's not a popular opinion. That's my two cents on the issue. Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, I am going to make part two for Homer Simpson, but I'm also, I wanted to start making uh, Rick Sanchez, um, as you can tell by the video. And um, this video is going to cover just the basic head creation for Rick, but then we're going to go into, on the next video, the rigging. And you can see here I have um, his head um, that's turnable. Um, not all the way around, but just from left to right and up and down. But it's all controlled by one bone right here. And then I have the eye position and the usual things, the mouth switch layers and the eyelids. Uh, this animation that you saw at the beginning took me... I'm gonna say... Uh, I should have timed it, but I think it was about 20 minutes, 15 minutes. Which is pretty fast considering the amount of lip syncing, but... Um, I did lip syncing as usual, but it was really easy to animate the head as I went through the timeline and used this um, kind of head tilt. I could just go in here and I could click a keyframe and then have him look kind of over to the side and then down or just, uh, you know, shaking his head and stuff. It was, it was really easy to animate and then the eyes, I just... Uh, had the eyelids separate and that turned out to be pretty good too as well as just animating the um, eyebrows I just grabbed points and moved them around it was pretty easy to do as well so um, hope you enjoyed this video like I said this is just part one there's gonna be probably three parts or maybe even more I just don't want to make them super long but uh, yeah this first parts just creating the head so hope you enjoy and thanks for watching Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, today I'm going to show you how to make Rick Sanchez from the Rick and Morty show. And hopefully this will be a real fun tutorial for you guys to do. Um, and I'm going to use this model sheet that I found online. I just googled uh, Rick Sanchez model sheet. And um, I'm just going to start with the head. So, we have this picture. And I'm going to go to the first layer. And I'll just go ahead and call this head. I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to select the shape tool and then the circle tool and I will um, go ahead and leave auto fill and auto stroke on. I'll use the color picker. I'll go ahead and pick the uh, skin color of Rick and then I'll go ahead and just draw an oval. Actually, let me change the width to, let's see, two. Maybe even one. Yeah, we'll just leave it at one. So I'll go ahead and draw an oval for his head. Hit T so I can transform it and kind of stretch it out a little bit. I'm holding uh, down the uh, space bar to grab and move the canvas. And then I'll go ahead and hit A because I want to add a couple more points to the head. I'll hit C so I can kind of curve those points out by left clicking and dragging making that fit and then we have the head there and I'll go ahead and create a new um, layer and we'll call this uh, left ear. I'll go ahead and hit S for a new shape draw a little ear, hit T so I can move these points a little bit Kind of get them in the right place. I'm going to click that layer and drag it under the head. And then I'll go ahead and duplicate that. And rename it right ear. Then I'll just grab that, copy, move it over, use the flip uh, horizontal button, put his other ear there. And now we've got the head and the ears. And I'll go ahead and just create a bone layer because we're going to put all of the head parts in a folder. And in this case, it's going to be the head bone layer. So we'll call this head 
And let's go ahead and rename the shape head shape. Just to keep things organized. And let me go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and grab uh, the head for a second and move it out of the way. Just so we can see the eyes, because let's go ahead and make the eyes next. So I'll create a new vector layer. Call this left eye. And I'm going to turn the grid on, so I'll do a Command-G. And I'm just going to make this really big to start off with. I'll hit the uh, S, or click on the Shape tool, use Circle. This time I'm going to unclick the Auto Fill and Auto Stroke. And I'm going to hold Shift and Option down so I draw a perfect circle. And it's going to snap to the grid, so I'll go ahead and draw one. And then I'll draw another one. And one more for the pupil. And that just keeps everything really centered. So now that I have the pupil selected, I'll go ahead and hit T and shrink that down a little bit. Oops. Undo. Hold Option down so it shrinks right in the center. And then I'm going to hit A to add a new point, and I'm going to collect, or collect, connect the sides of the eye like that. I'll hit uh, Command-G to turn the grid off. So now we have the basic shapes for the eye. And what I'm going to do is hit G and then select this side. Hold Shift down and then select this side of the eye too, these two points. And I'll hit C to curve them. And what I want to do is make them sharp. So I'm actually clicking and dragging to the left. Then I'll do the opposite for the top and bottom point. So I'll go ahead and hit G. Select this point, hold shift down, select the bottom one, hit C to curve, and then we're going to curve this out so we'll left click and drag to the uh, right and turn it back into a circle. So while I'm making this eye, let's go ahead and command A, that selects everything, um, all the points on this layer, which is just the eye, I'll hit T. I'll go ahead and shrink this down and I get this to the right size. I'm using my mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Whoa. Grab that. And I just want to get the size of the eye about right. Like that. Move it off to the side for a second. Now I'm going to recolor. And actually, I'm going to... Let's click the head shape for a second and hit Q and then select the head. The reason I'm doing this is because I want to create um, a color style for the character so we can change his skin tone or do anything with uh, colors later on. So with that selected, we'll go to Styles, click New. And we'll name this Rick Skin Color. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that with the right ear. I'll hit Q, select it, and now that I have that style made, I can just go to the style button right here and select it. It says Rick's skin color. So it doesn't look like it did anything, but it actually assigned it that color. And we'll click on the left ear layer, click on the left ear, and change the style to Rick's skin color also. So what that's doing is everything that has that assigned style, if I go under styles and select the skin color and then change it, it changes all of them. So that's the that's the whole reason for doing that. So I'll do a Command Z to undo. And the reason I did that is because on the eye, we're going to use that skin color. But first, we want to color in the parts of the eye from back to front. So the f furthest thing in the back is going to be the white of the eye. So I'll hit U. And I'm going to select the inner circle, the white of the eye. And I'm gonna click fill because I don't want it to, to put a stroke around. I just wanna fill the color. So do fill and then I'll select white. Oops, we're still on the styles, so we need to go to styles. Or wait, um, how do we get out of here? None. So we're back out of the uh, styles. So now we'll go ahead and select that eye and now it's red, uh, checkered red, and it's gonna fill whatever color we have here. 
So I'll click white and then hit spacebar, or you can click create shape in Moho uh, 12 or 13. I'll hit spacebar. Can't really see it. Um, uh, if I turn off that picture, you can see it's filled with white. Then we're going to do the pupil. So I'll hit U, which is create shape. It's this button right here. And then we'll select black and hit spacebar. And that fills in the pupil. And then we'll go ahead and select the bottom eyelid. So it's going to be these two points. I'll hold shift down, select these points at the bottom and these points on the side. So we're going to create a shape underneath the eye and we only have the fill selected so we'll go ahead and hit spacebar again and at first it's going to uh, fill fill it black because that's what we just did the pupil with but we're going to go to styles and say Rick's skin color and that'll just change it to the same color as his head and ears we'll do the same for the top eyelid so we'll hit U create shape select those points hold shift down select the top points and then the side points. It's checkered uh, red, which means it's ready to create. We'll hit spacebar. Now we have the eye. Now the reason I did that without strokes is because I only want the stroke to be around um, the uh, white of the eye. And I'd create those separately just so I can have kind of eyelids. So we're gonna kind of do the same thing. We'll go ahead and select this point, hold shift, the bottom point and the side point. And this time we're gonna say stroke only. So we'll click on stroke. It's already on black, so we can click create shape. That creates the bottom kind of eyelid. And then I'll do the same with the top. Select this one, hold shift, select that point and the side point and hit spacebar again. And now if I grab this point at the top, we can have our character blink. And the reason why we have this fill color is so it can be hidden. And we'll go ahead and do that. So we have the left eye. And actually we can even move the skin underneath a little bit closer. So let's go ahead and hit G. I'm going to select all these outer points. Hold shift so I can grab them all. Then I'll hit T. So we can resize it. I'll hold option down so it shrinks to the center and just goes underneath the uh, um, stroke of the eye. I'll hit Command A to select all of them, all of the points, and kind of put that in place. And let's move that down a little bit. Now we can just copy the left eye. So we'll duplicate, we'll call this right eye. And still selected so we can move it over. We've got both of his eyes. And then we'll create another new shape. We'll call this nose. I'll hit S so we can uh, use the shape tool. We'll use a rectangle shape this time. And Rick's skin color is already selected because we just did the eyelids. So. Um, I can turn on auto fill and auto stroke. So when I draw that, we can draw the nose, which right now is just a square. I'll hit T so I can move the points. Grab this point here, move it over here. Grab this one down here, move it up here. And I'll hit C to curve this out. And I'll curve the top of the nose out. And we don't need the stroke to be visible at the top, so we'll hide stroke edges. We'll click this button right here. Hide those edges, but we still want the uh, color of the nose. And that's for if we do a head turn, we want to make sure that the nose is filled with the color. But we'll leave that there for now. Now let's do Rick's eyebrow. So we create a new shape, new vector. We'll call this eyebrow since he has one unibrow. I'll hit S or click on create shape and we'll use the rectangle again. And this, uh, we'll go ahead and turn off the Rick skin color um, style because we don't want to have the skin color in it. And let's go ahead and use the color picker. We'll click on that picker. 
or eye drop and then select the blue from his eyebrow. And now we'll go ahead and draw a square across and we'll just add some more points. So I hit A, add a point to the left side, add a point to the right side. Then we're gonna add one, two, three on the bottom and three on the top. Might need more, but we'll see how this works. So I hit T and I'm gonna go ahead and drag this left side out and then the right side. I'll hit C so I can curve them like that, curve them like this. And then I want to just test something. So I'm gonna hit G and grab these middle points and I'm gonna move them up. So I'll grab them and they're, the points are still sharp so I'll go ahead and hit C and curve them. And I'll go ahead and curve out, hit T and curve out these other points that I put on the um, left and right of these center ones. So curve that left click and drag to the right like that just so when we move his eyebrows it looks more natural so if I hit G and grab these points I can move them up or down I can make him look angry I might need a couple more points because it kind of squishes right there so let's add some more I'm just hitting a and adding a couple more points hitting C to curve them like that. Maybe put a couple down here too. And we'll curve those a little bit. But we'll go ahead and reset or move these points back to kind of the center just so we have a kind of neutral pose, I guess. Like that. I'm going to space these out a little bit, these uh, points, so it looks a little bit better. Keep those in the center, and then move these to the side. So now we have the eyebrow. Now we need to create the mouth. So the mouth, I'm just, I'm not even going to turn the grid on, I'm just going to create a new layer. Actually I'm going to create a new switch layer, because we're going to create different mouths, so I'll hit switch layer. We'll name the mouths, and I'll create a new vector layer. We'll call this uh, the ah mouth, because that's the first one I usually make. And drag that into that switch layer. Make sure it goes underneath and over to the right. And we'll click on that. And this is really similar to the eye. We're going to create a new shape. Um, and we're going to use the circle tool. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to uncheck fill and stroke and just have it empty. And we're just going to draw an oval. And I'll go ahead and do a command C, command V, which is copy and paste. So we have that same shape. I'm holding option down to shrink it. I'll hit A. Connect the points just like we did with the eye. So that's the mouth. This is the top lip and the bottom lip. Then we'll go ahead and create uh, some teeth. So I'll hit S for a new shape, and we'll select the rectangle this time, and I'll just draw a rectangle across. And now I'm gonna hit A and just add points to the bottom, a whole bunch. Just kind of space them out because this is gonna be his teeth. And we can re-space them so they're a little bit more even, but they don't need to be, it's a cartoon, so, you know. So we'll grab each, every other one, I'll hit G, and grab every other point, like that, hit T, move them up, and I'll hit T, move this over, we'll do one more, like that, then I'll hit G, and select all of these bottom points, and curve them out, hit C, left click and drag to the right, and they curve out like that. And we can, we can fix these a little later. We'll just kind of leave it like this for now. Oops. And then we'll go ahead and hit T and click on the line of the teeth. And I'll select all the points. We'll copy and paste. Command C, Command V. And I'm holding 
shift down and what I did was I selected inside between the inner and outer box so I can rotate move these underneath so these will be the bottom teeth this is the top teeth and then we'll do s one more time circle and just draw a circle in the mouth that's going to be the the uh, tongue so again just like the eye we're going to color from back to front so the furthest thing back is going to be the mouth shape and let's go ahead and add a couple more points to the lips so we'll just add some points there let's move the teeth out of the way also the reason why we're going coloring from back to front is because that's um, layers the colors in the correct order so we don't have to do a lot of um, readjusting so I'll hit T and grab the corners of the mouth and this time I'm gonna no I'm gonna leave them sharp so they're already sharp we'll maybe curve out the mouth a little bit and actually we'll adjust this here in just a second actually because he has these kind of lines around his mouth on the left and right side we're gonna add a couple more points on this too so we'll add two points here and two points on this side on the right side so let's color his mouth so I'll hit you and the first thing we want to do is color the inside of the mouth so we'll click on the uh, mouth itself and we want to just fill it just like the eye and we'll pick a dark red and I'll hit spacebar or create shape I'll just create shape uh, one time for you moho users and then we want tongue is gonna be next so we'll select that and select pink and hit spacebar if you're using anime studio I'm gonna go ahead and click stroke on for that just so it has a stroke on it already and then we're gonna do the teeth so we'll do the bottom teeth first let's go ahead and select white for the fill color so just click on that hit spacebar or create shape and let's turn the strokes on for the teeth as well let's do the top teeth and create shape turn the stroke on for that as well and the last thing we need to do well we need to do the lips and then the strokes too so we'll do the bottom lip so I'm hitting G and I'm just grabbing these points holding shift down and making sure I'm grabbing all the points in the bottom and if it's uh, ready to create we should hit you should be checkered just like this we'll go ahead and hit spacebar and again, just like before, we'll go over to Styles and select Rick Skin Color so it matches his uh, skin tone. Do the same for the top. Hit G, grab the points, hold Shift down so I can grab the other points. That is a valid shape, so it turns red, checkered. Hit Spacebar or Create Shape. Now we have the uh, top and bottom skin of the lips I should say <laughs> and then we'll go ahead and do the stroke um, at the bottom and top so hit G select the points hold shift and uh, do the bottom and we want to do U to create shape and then just the stroke the reason I'm doing the stroke uh, and not uh, putting the stroke on the mouth at the beginning is just it, for some reason it creates problems um, when you're doing uh, lips and stuff like that so this is just easier for me to do that then we'll do the top and the bottom makes them s separate shapes so it's a little easier to manage I guess and hit spacebar with that and because we color things in the order that we did the teeth are underneath the lips so we'll shrink that down can adjust it and select the teeth up here shrink those down you know we can move the tongue but oh and we wanted to make lines for the side of the mouth so let's go ahead and do that hit you select these three points over here we still have the stroke because we just did the lips hit spacebar and then do the same on this side hit spacebar right there and we want the edges to taper off so we'll hit W 
taper that, left click and drag to the left, and do the same for this side. And we can make these bigger if we want, and we can curve those out too. So, so now, actually let's go ahead and close his mouth. We'll shrink the tongue down. Let's go ahead and close his mouth. So I'm just grabbing the points of the lips and kind of closing his mouth. I'm using C to curve out these, these points. And we just want a regular old, well, neutral. Let's just line up the points across. So we'll just put his lips down here. Like that. And we can move the teeth and the tongue kind of up there in the middle. The reason why we do this coloring of the top and bottom lip is so we can hide the teeth and the mouth. We could do masking, but that's a little bit more involved and this is I think is a little easier to uh, do when you're first starting out so um, just do that I just think this is easier for now and again we can I'm just readjusting the teeth I'm just making them a little smaller maybe make the tongue a little bit smaller and just kind of Put those underneath the lips, close to it, ah, hit T, all I'm doing is moving the points, I'm just trying to adjust the uh, lips. Now if you hit, I want to add a couple points, if I hit A, sometimes it'll add strokes again, but oops. this is just so I can manage the uh, lips a little bit better. I think that's good. Alright, so we have the mouse and we just have the ah sound. Um, in the next video I will go ahead and start making the lip shapes and start rigging the face a little bit. Oh, and oh, we need to do the hair real quick, I'm sorry. So let's go ahead and put everything, let's go ahead and click on his uh, head shape. Move that into place. And then the mouths are on top. We'll click on the whole switch group and we'll just go ahead and move that kind of into place too. And I'm going to change the point of origin, which is this little cross. So I'll just click that, click it right on his lips, and then use the transform layer tool. That way it just um, centers the uh, transform box a lot easier. And his lips are way too big. So I'm going to squish them. I'm clicking on the ah. Let's go ahead and move these in more. Again, you can just move the teeth out of the way too while you're doing this. <laughs> out from under. So I can just get the lips to look right. Oops. this a little smaller we can come back to this hide the teeth again just so they're out of the way there we go okay now let's go ahead and make his hair so we'll go vector we'll create one more oops and I accidentally made that in his mouth layer so let's drag this to the bottom this new layer double click it call it uh, hair back so this is going to be behind him and actually let's go ahead and make another style while we're here let's select his eyebrow hit Q just like we did with the head select it and it turns checkered you can see right there and then styles new and we'll just name this Rick's hair color and let's go back to the hair back layer that we just created. I'll hit S and we'll use the square tool or the rectangle tool. Click here or here 
and then we'll go ahead and draw a square and I'm just gonna hit a the fill and the auto fill and stroke was off for right now um, but that's just because I want to see where the points are I'll hit a I'm just gonna hit a and drag these points around his head to where the uh, ends of his hair are kind of Lisa Simpson esque like that to the end end points and then I'm gonna go ahead and click in between them and just drag down maybe add a couple more on some of these because they're not exactly just sharp peaks you know they've got a little curve to them some of them so I'm just adding more points and all I'm doing is clicking on the line to make more points and I can curve those out a little later all right there's his hair hit you so we can validate shape or create shape fill it and we selected it it turns red but we want to fill both the fill and the stroke like that and we'll hit spacebar or create shape and it fills with that uh, hair color that we just created the, sh the style and again the style if we click on styles and go to Rick's hair color and I change that it's gonna change his eyebrows and his hair at the same time so it's really useful um, like if you're gonna have your character be in the dark or something like that you can change everything really quickly so there's the basics of Rick's head um, if we click on the eyes I gotta grab the right point but we can have his eyes close um, so that's ready to rig and we can go to his eyebrows and once we have that rigged we can grab points and make him angry uh, and do all of his facial expressions like that so that's the first part first lesson I don't want to make any of these videos too long but um, yeah we're gonna start uh, creating switch layers for the mouth and start rigging the face and we are also going to do a partial head turn I'm not gonna do a whole 360 uh, body turn for this series but um, I think the three-fourths position or side position should be good enough so um, yeah thanks for watching if you guys have any comments or questions just leave them down below